Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and we're going to continue our adventure here in the apocalypse. And we're going to do our first official POI. Now, we've already been in the house in the last episode to get the fat loots. Uh, we did a double loot on it, but um, now we're going to do it for real. I do have a Hawaii Five-O and a couple other Zekers wandering around out here. Um, I'd like to get them taken care of first um, so we don't have have to deal with them. Let's see if I can hit this guy from over here. Uh, so there's a Yo zombie in uh, Hawaii Five-O. So let's take them out first before we do anything else here. Okay, so we got rid of him. Get our arrows back. Um, let's see if we can bring Hawaii Five-O over here. He's uh, he's kind of hard to kill. We can certainly outrun him. Oh, there's Nurse Nancy. But the problem with outrunning slow zombies is a lot of times we'll run into fast zombies in the process of they were screwed. Hawaii 5 0 is just right around that corner. Let's see if we can get his attention. Does he not see us? He still doesn't see us. Alright, come here, dude. Got him. I still hear somebody jumping around somewhere. Because um, we, we have to go around the back to actually start this quest. If we're going to do it, you know, take the right path, which I typically like to do when we're, you know, when we do the quest for real, just because we'll get more loot, more zombie kills, more XP, that sort of thing. Let's hop down here. See what's in this car because I forgot to loot it the last time. Okay, we'll take the jar. I don't care about the lead weights. I think. No, there's a zombie right there. Let's go ahead and start the quest, but we're going to have to re do our frames here. Sorry about the, the darkness, guys. Um, I don't have a helmet light yet, so... Oh, for goodness sakes. Oh, he sees us now, anyway. Come this way, man. <laughs> That's the way you do it. Okay, are we clear now? Can we actually start our quest? Would that be okay? <laughs> I know some of you might think I'm being a little overly cautious, but you have to be overly cautious if you want to survive in the early game on Insane Nightmare. So, just keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Sometimes people will make comments on the videos saying, you need to be more aggressive, and my response is, are you playing on the hardest settings when you say that? Because most of the time they're not. They're just comparing to, you know, normal difficulty or lower difficulty gameplays. Game settings. Hear no more footsteps. Yeah, this is really hot. I mean, once we can get inside the house and get into a secure area inside the house, then I don't really care what's going on outside as much. But, I mean, we could run into the house now, close the door behind us, have three zombies chasing us, and then have something in the house get us, you know? Well, maybe what we need to do is go in through the garage again, even though that's not technically the, the starting point.
Okay, so the garage, at least down below here, is clear. Let's also um, just kind of block this a little bit for the moment, in case we get the attention of the Zeeks upstairs. They might not have even spawned in yet, I don't know, but let's not take any chances. Okay, we'll loot in here first. That's worthwhile. Don't give a shit about the uh, the tool brush, of course. Or the tool brush, the, <laughs> the paintbrush, the tool brush. Uh, let's get this out. So we can see what the hell's going on. I mean, that's lootable. cooking pot we don't need a second cooking pot though so let's just scrap that and since we're going to scrap that we might as well scrap this too nice mineral water okay well um I'm going to leave that as just a normal frame for the moment, in case we have to make a quick exit out of the house. Start working this way, though. Okay, give us some good clothes. Is that a college jacket? It is. Oh, nice. That's a great find. That uh, gives us 10% run speed. Um, looks like these are, wait, what are we wearing? Oh yeah, we're wearing the armor boots. You know, those do give us more armor, but they also make us quite a bit noisier too, like by 20%. I wonder if we, I wonder if we ought to hold off on those until we can get like a full set of armor. Because the trade-off might not be worth it, really. It does give us plus 8 armor rating, but it also increases our noise by 20%. So, yeah, let's hold off until we can, like, get a full set of armor going. Okay. Well, I also want to... Let's put that up there for a moment. I want to get, keep these down here so I can get them set down uh, quickly and upgraded. But I don't want to take anything else off my toolbar at the moment. Okay. Um, let's see here. We can't block that because of the... Oh, yeah, we can. Never mind. That's just temporary. So we can maneuver over here. We're going to need to take this with us. So you know what we'll do? The the bow is not something we need in an absolute quick emergency. So we'll trade the trade off the torch for the bow. Okay, I don't think there's a zombie in here. Uh, nor is there anything else. Our satchel's on the bottom floor. So let's go this way first. That's just a crawler. Is 
Is that a zombie closet over there? No, that's a bookshelf. All right, what do we got? 10% more damage when indoors and f take 5% less. Oh, I love that one. And tank tops, t-shirts, hats, and yada, yada, yada. Okay. Um, We might actually make use of that if we don't come across those things beforehand because we're still wearing grass for, for some of that stuff. Okay, let's take a peek in here. Okay, I think we're clear. Oh, nice. Our first wrench. Okay, good. We'll take the dirty water for the moment. And I think that's all that we have in here for the moment. Okay, good. Let's harvest these chairs, too, for the cloth. Okay, so I guess what we'll do is let's go move on into this room. Okay, that could be a Zeker closet there. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Oh god, that scared me. Okay, that seeker's outside, or at least in the other room. Oh, nice shirt. Okay. We'll take that. Alright. Where's the Sandy at? Right there on the other side of that wall. So let's put that there. Arlene! Zombie Arlene. Take an arrow in the nose. Here's some medical supplies. Right there. With some blood bags. Not particularly useful to us right now, but maybe later. Alright, anything in there? Nope. Okay. You know what we might actually end up doing here? Let's close that door. Excuse me. Since we know there's no Zeke's, more Zeke's in here, let's just break through this way. Some 762s. How about a toilet pistol? I wouldn't expect a toilet pistol this early in the game. But I wasn't expecting the trainer to have a yellow pump shotgun either. <laughs> I don't think that's supposed to happen. Because we're, you know, we're like really low game stages right now. Okay, that's it for in here. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Where is my torch? There it is. Zombie closet right there. Such a pain in the ass in the early game when you don't have your helmet light. 
that. Okay, I don't think there's a Zeke in there. Sewing kit, always good. Another sewing kit, beautiful. Okay, let's um get rid of this, harvest this. Should I actually use the wrench on that? I would get more stuff. Like some springs and that sort of thing. All right, I think this room's clear. I've gone into closets before in this game and had zombies up above jump down on my head and just scare the ever-living daylights out of me. Uh, oh, Lucky's very nice. <clears throat> very nice. Okay. Um, let's actually wear those. I'll try to remember to switch to the ski goggles when we use the bow. If it's, you know, uh, oh, nice. If it's not too terribly inconvenient to do so. You know what we could do is we should probably make some padded armor. Uh, because we don't get the noise penalty and it gives us some protection. So let's put those on. And, um... It's going to do something else now. I can't remember what it was. Let's check in here. Okay, Fireman's Almanac. Do 10% more damage to coal and burnt wood. Good. That'll be good for um, coal mining and stuff. Our satchel's 4.3 meters this way. We might as well get it since it's here, right? Well, wouldn't you look at that? Surprised that doesn't wake her up. Okay, she can't come around because we closed the door over there, I think. Didn't get anybody else's attention. Okay. Um, do I have any lockpicks? I have one, but the problem is, if I open the safe now, we're going to get crap. Well, we could get blunderbuss ammo, which is really the only thing that's going to help us at the moment. Um, and the chances of me coming back here later to open this are pretty slim, so let's just try and see what happens. Huh, so much for that. There's no way in hell I'm going to sit there and bang on that safe. For five minutes, well, not five minutes, but several minutes, just because, just to get crap stuff, you know. Okay, so we killed the nurse in there. Um, I can't really see very well, so let's get this back out again. Okay, so that's just a fireplace. Okay, that door can be opened. I think we'll get leather from these couches, so let's do that. Okay, so that's where we came through the garage. Let's just temporarily block that. We're safe on this side now. And uh, let's check the kitchen. Cornmeal. Don't care about that. Two cooking pots. And another pipe wrench. So we have a, an extra pipe wrench for um, our workbench when the time comes for us to make it. And there's our satchel. Beautiful. 
Okay. Nope, not that. This. Okay, let's scrap that. Toss that. Scrap these. Scrap these. Suit pants aren't worth shit. We already have coveralls on. Uh, yeah, let's just scrap those two. And I think we're good. What we might do, though, is go back out and drop some stuff back off at our um, chest outside before we proceed. All right, so this is a hallway. Can't really block that off. Okay, there's a door there anyway. Businessman Zombo. <laughs> that little clunk that it makes. I always, I always imagine knocking their teeth out when that happens. It kind of makes me cringe a little bit. <laughs> Not good. Assume that he's the only one in here. That could be a dangerous thing to assume. Okay, beverage cooler. Yum, we'll take that. In fact, let's drink that right now. And let's also eat these other two grilled meats. That'll free us up some space and get our food and water back to where it should be. Couple bookcases, let's see what we got. Uh, bats and clubs degrade 20% slower. Um, no Beer no longer blurs your vision and your buzz lasts twice as long. Okay, that's actually a good one because we can then use beer for stuff like mining. 10% more damage to mountain lions, okay. Not bad. Let's see what's in the desk. More coveralls. Are they better than what we're currently wearing? Less cold, more heat. Um, I mean, six and one half does the other at this point, right? We're going to take this chair apart because we get more stuff from it if we use a wrench instead of just picking it up and scrapping it. And let's check these two cupboards. Getting a nice little supply of jars. How's our food? We could use a little bit more food. This only gives a little bit of food, so that should get us all the way topped off. I think I'm gonna I think I'm just gonna scrap these. Okay. Almost done, guys. Almost done. Getting close. Oh, shit. That could be a zombie closet. Yowzers. I can't really block him either. <laughs> nope, we're good. Chances are, if there was a Zeke in there, it would have already come out and eaten us anyway, so... Stuff a bag behind the picture. Nah. Okay, let's take a look and see what's going on in here. All clear. Alright, I think we have completely cleared the bottom floor of this house. Let's run back out to our chest. And uh, drop some stuff off before we go up to the attic. We already know what's going to happen up there. Okay. 
Okay, it's really quiet. We're going to pretty much just use the same strategies we used last time. Okay, so we have a cheerleader there and a sleeper on the other side of that duct. I don't know if there's a third one. There was a third one the last time we came up here. So let's deal with her first. Okay, she's dead. I don't think there's anybody else over that way. Oh, that's just a crawler. The thing is, though, is he is that the only zombie that's over there? I don't think we need to worry about anybody down below at the moment. Even if he does break in. Well, actually, yeah, let's put those there. All right, there could still be one more Zeke, so. Okay. Blunderbuss is in action. That's what we like to see. I think we're clear of Zeke's. Don't see anybody else. Let's check the loots. That we're going to scrap. Three cans of sham. Two more cans of sham. Nice. All right, what do we got? Ooh, pretty good stuff, actually. Pretty good stuff. So that would give us our boots, our chest, and our gloves for our armor. We would only the only other thing we would need is leggings, and then we would have a full set. Uh, plus, we have um, these now too, which are pretty nice for mobility. And we could put those on here. Wait, what? Why the hell can't we put those on there? Really? Why? That's This is considered armor. Why can't I put that on there? That's dumb. What the hell, fun pimps? What the hell? Um, yeah, but I'm like I said, I'm not going to put all the, I'm not going to put the armor on until we can put all of it on. Which is going to make us really noisy at that point, but we might even wait until we get a proper shotgun, you know, before we do that. We'll see. Okay, we got one thing back behind here, too. Can we just, like, do that? Yeah, that's a better. Ooh, look at that. Wow. <laughs> okay, that's actually a pretty damn nice find right at this point in time. Um, Yeah, it's like seven points better for both melee and power attack. I'll take it. I'll take it. One could argue that that's probably the best thing we found in this place. Okay, well, I think we're done, guys. I think we're done. 
So uh, what I'm going to do is um, head on back, and I will meet you at the trader. I think I'm thinking I'm just going to cut the camera on the way back. Um, well, how much time we got? Yeah, we're kind of getting tight on time. I'll probably just cut the camera on the way back, uh, meaning that I'll keep it rolling, but I'm not going to show it on the video unless something really crazy happens, and then I'll just meet you back at the trader. We'll do our turn in, and then we'll wrap up this episode. So I'll see you in a bit. Let's see what uh, Trader Hugh's going to well, get us. You did, uh, okay. Pipe so bombs. 20 pipe bombs. Paid. Yeah, I think we'll take that. Um, And let's see. We're going to get 330 coin and, and 2,500 XP. Um, All right. So let's do that. Now we're going to sell to him. Actually, let's take his next job first. So we've got a clear... Um, which is only 618 meters that way so. in a cabin. So we'll take that for the next job. I didn't think you had the guts to do it. Now let's sell to him. Um, do I have the means to make repair kits? Because we're going to get more money if we repair some of this stuff before we sell it. Uh, I got better yeah, things we to should do probably do that. stare at the likes of you. We should probably do that. So let's go into here. And add this iron. We've already got some clay in there, so now what we need to do is make some ingots. I can't remember if I have any of those back at the base or not, so... Um, should we sell these mods or use them? I got to thinking probably the reason why I can't put these on the cloth armor is because... We don't have a movement penalty on the cloth armor, so putting them on isn't going to really do us any good. Um, that's my guess anyways. I don't know that for sure. So, um, let's see. Well, let's sell stuff to him that we don't need to repair first while we're waiting for that iron to cook up. So, we can sell him these. I know those are valuable, but usually by the towards the end of the game, I've got like over a full stack of those things. Uh, we'll sell him the money, of course. And uh, let's see, do we need this? I think I'd rather get the money for it for now, so let's sell that. Um, this stuff we want to repair because we'll get more money for it. Um, I'm going to sell this stuff now, too, just because right now the money's more important. All right, so everything else I think I want to keep. So that gets us up to 1965, so we're only <laughs> a little less than a third of the way there. Uh, forgetting that uh, that shotgun, which was here, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't think this. I, I don't think we're gonna be able to do this, guys, because it's our. Well, it's day three. Mail? He's gonna reset in the morning, and it's already noon. There's. I just don't see how that's gonna happen. So that's all right. It is what it is. We'll just uh, keep on keeping on. We'll eventually have another opportunity. Okay, let's make some forged iron. And we also, we're also going to need to make some glue. So we've got a little bit of murky water here. And, um... Oh, oh, boy, I don't know if I have any bones back at the base or not. I think I might have a few, but I don't have very many. So we might have to go hit, hit up some gut piles or something. Yeah, like I said, I don't think... We already checked this for today, right? Oh, no, we didn't. Okay. Let's just go ahead and buy the food. The rest of that stuff I'm going to leave in there. So, yeah, we'll make repair kits with this iron, uh, but we'll have to go back to the base first. And uh, You know what? Actually, I have some duct tape back at the base now that I think about it. Um, perfect. Okay. Anyways, guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here. So I'm going to go back to the base, uh, make a couple repair kits, and repair... Um, this and this and sell it, but I'm going to keep these three pieces uh, to start, you know, building our armor setup. Um, so I'll sell those two things to him and then probably do a couple of things around the base. Um, I, I need to gather some chrysanthemum for one thing. We did have a biker zombie out here too, so we need to... Whoops. Yeah, he's right over there. I'd rather not mess with him right now. Um, I need to get some chrysanthemum so we can make some red tea, and, um, so I'll just do a few things around the base, and then when I'm ready to set out for this next quest, which is a little closer, I'll do that. I did leave some, some pretty good stuff behind, 
that I really should go back and get, um, you know, back at our quest place here in that chest. So I might just do that too, but I'll do, of course, I'll do that all off camera. And uh, I'll bring you guys back in the next episode when we're ready to get started with this next quest. Because, I, like I said, I just don't think, I don't think we're going to be able to raise that 6,000 and some odd coin by the end of today. It's just not going to happen. Um, so, yeah. Uh, all right, guys. So that is it for this episode. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video. It doesn't cost you anything. It doesn't take any effort. And it really does help the channel. And I greatly appreciate it. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.